What's up, guys? Welcome to the vault. Glad you could make it all the way down here. Alongside myself, I got my good friend here, Mr. Walter Morgan. How you doing today, Walt? I'm doing fine. Made Back it, in the vault. Made it past the spider, I see. I see you guys are on a on a kind of a good basis. I don't know if you're on a first name basis, but he's kind of hanging out. I see him picking his head out. I slip and slide past and, him. Yeah, it's all right. I'm kind of doing the same thing. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, he's showing you a little love. Kind of a little love. That's good. <laughs> All anyway, right. we're going to talk about a show that's on Netflix. It's a comedy called Norseman. I got turned on to it actually this past December from uh, our German sound men in Europe while we were on tour. Uh, Tilo, he said, uh, if you like Vikings but like Monty Python, you're going to like this. It's called Norseman. Let's take a look at the clip from this series. Well, it's time for the attest tube. Anyone want to go first? It's a matter of honor, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the attest tube is probably the most honorable thing you can do. Honor is really important, Bill. Yes. Now, to Valhalla! Wow. I'm just going to skip the whole thing, okay? I'm not going to jump either. This is not my kind of thing. We found a way west. We will never again have a lean year, no matter how poorly the substitute chieftain manages the village while I'm away. Farewell. Brother. Look, who dares to brew their own chieftain? Try firing an arrow with really cold fingers yourself before you start brewing. I'm trying to get some sort of cultural lift, and I really want something like that to happen here. It seems like they've completely lost their focus. Ah! What are we waiting for? No, I will be crushed. Ah! You Vikings. You have the easiest job in the world. Sit on a boat, stab people with swords. It's as basic as it can possibly get. Don't show any fear now, folks. Remember, nothing's sexier than self-confidence. Don't look at me. It's your husband. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. What did you think about that, Walt? Kind of different, you know, kind of Monty Python meets Vikings meets Austin Powers kind of trip. You know, the comedy, very dark. Very subtle sometimes and uh, humorous. Very definitely. dry. I, I thought the comedy's like English comedy, very dry. Like you said, very Monty Python-esque. Um, kind of nitwit, stupid, you know, kind of comedy. But it's still very campy and very funny. Uh, I, I love the subtleties that they go into about um, Viking life in 790 AD. But it's kind of like... Uh, how we live today, you know, kind with of the values that we have with the very right. modern twist. And that's what makes the the uh, mockumentary so com uh, very funny about it. Yeah, and also it's like Vikings is drama, if anybody's watched that. This is that version except Monty Python-ish. And it's the comedy that's thrown in there, very funny, like the the Viking that can only rape and pillage but when he gets home to have sex with his wife he can't get it up now that's funny <laughs> and this and it's riddled with stuff like that uh, all over the place and and you catch the subtle humor everywhere the cast is a rarely unknown cast i uh, they're all norwegian actors in fact it was first on norwegian television in 2016 in actually in norwegian language but they refilmed it in english to re put on and and I guess the BBC and it started there and then uh Hey Steve, can you send my mother a message for Mother's Day? Yes I can. Go to cameo.com and I can send your mother a happy Mother's Day. Re put on and and I guess the BBC and it started there and then uh Somehow it made its way to Netflix, and I stumbled on it. It's real, real funny. Uh, I, that makes I, it better, though, because you don't know these actors. You know, American actors, you see a sitcom, you go, oh, that's that guy, this and this. And uh, these are unknown, and so it gives a little more real twist, but, but funny, you know, that, if you like that. Like of the, of the uh, pack of the, of the warriors, the strongest warrior is a girl. You know, and she's awesome, and she's, you know, very beautiful woman, but she's one of the best warriors, and her husband is a total wimp pussy, and, and he's he's always trying to uh, 
Well, he tries to be the chieftain. I don't want to give too much away, but it's it's uh, it, it, the drama and the the intertwining of of it is just hilarious in the know, way things you got go. The slaves. You know, and the caste system, and the warriors, and the farmers, and how they interact, and put a a dark twist on everything. And how the warriors are always talking about pillaging, and that's their job, and they know nothing better but to go out and rape and pillage, and that's what they're doing. You know, they're, oh, we must go. We must go and rape and pillage. I just love that whole angle of it. That's true. It can't uh, get better. And, you know, the episodes are only 30 minutes each. There's like six per season, and there's two seasons. So basically 12 that you could binge pretty quick. I was kind of like hesitant when you told me to watch that and uh, so we could do a review of it. But you know what? It was so so good, and I wasn't expecting that. Maybe from the trailer in, or the clips that you saw, you can kind of see that. You, don't, you, you, know, you have to see it if you like that type of comedy and uh, Vikings, definitely. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I was on tour in December, and our sound man told me to watch it. He saw that I had Netflix on my iPad, and I think I've watched it twice through now. It's two seasons, and I heard they're renewed for a third season, and uh, when I was reading uh, up on that, it'll be out in 2020. So if you have Netflix, you love Monty Python, you love that type of tongue-in-cheek kind of dry humor, Check out Norseman. It's hella funny. You could binge watch it in a day. Anything else on Norseman, Walter? Uh, just that they put a lot of modern, modernish twists and sayings that weren't even invented yet. And it kind of even makes it more funny. Or when they hint on things like dominoes that probably hasn't even been invented yet. Things like that. So, or when uh, the one guy hints on sexual harassment. I mean, the, exactly. come on, in 790 AD. So but that's it's subtle it little, funny. little jokes like that. Definitely. Definitely worth watching, better than you would think it would be. Yeah, so check it out. It's on Netflix, two seasons. It's called Norseman. Other than that, we'll see you guys in the vault once again. Horns up, fuckers. Mm-hmm.